Greetings and salutations, my artsy friends. How is everyone today? So good, I hope. So, so good. I am going live today um, to share with you the art printable, the collage art piece that I created for Strawberry Moon Magazine's fifth issue. And that the theme of that entire issue is self-help and so, excuse me, self-care. And so I drew this artwork up for the issue. So here's what I want to talk to you about. So I'm going to show you how it appears in the magazine, right? It's like this. You can cut it out and then you can make copies of it. And here's what I do. Um, Suzanne has printed this on this gorgeous paper. But if you just cut this out and then scan it on your copier, you can then do multiple things with this artwork. And here's how. So you're gonna scan it and then print it on copy paper. This is just plain old copy paper. But I want to be able, the, we're gonna have to fudge a little bit here because I've already done this step, but it's super important because it's like the magic elixir. If you take watercolor ground and a cup of water, if you take watercolor ground and a cup of water, so we're just gonna put a little bit of watercolor ground here on my craft mat. Right? And then we're gonna take, I've got a big flat here. It's a Moderna 18. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a big flat and I'm just gonna set it in the water. So that my all the bristles soak up lots of water. Then I'm gonna pull it out and I'm nice and juicy and wet, right? So now we're going to mix that water with the watercolor ground. And here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna coat this entire sheet with watercolor ground, just a watery wash of watercolor ground. And by doing that, we have created a watercolor paper-like property that coats this paper, right? Then we're gonna let that dry completely. And once it's dry, your paper is going to so I'm gonna set that, as, that one aside. Your paper is going to react to water soluble mediums like we were painting them on watercolor paper. And by that, I mean, when we put watercolor media, water soluble mediums on this paper, you're gonna be able to move it. If you were doing it on just watercolor, or excuse me, just copy paper, the color will go down, but you can't move. Does that make sense to everybody? Um, so let's take our number four and let's activate our watercolors here with some water. And then I like to get my bristles wet and then I'm going to take that watery brush and I'm just going to work that water into that little pan of paint. So we have a really nice <clears throat> saturated bit of paint. I'm going to add some water to that because I like a watery wash. And then I'm going to paint this heart, right? because we're gonna create like an artsy cluster with this kind of a Girl Scout badge here with the flower and then this sketchy heart. And then let's pick, um, um, 
let's do trust. And for that one, let's do orange. And so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna work that water into the paint. Right? And I'm gonna paint it on here. And if it feels too saturated, I can take my paper towel and I can tap off some of that color. If it still feels kind of saturated, I can rinse my brush and come over with br my, um, just a watery brush, work it around, and then pull up even more of that color. Right here, I'm feeling like I want to do the outside rim of this. Maybe I wanna do that. You know what, let's do green actually. So I'm gonna rinse my brush, come over here, get a little more water going. So we want a watery wash. So I painted this, I started this earlier this morning. Okay. And now I want to what I really wanna do is I want those little, so this is kind of a zinnia-like flower. I want these little flowers inside, I want them yellow. So let's come in, find a little tiny clean spot, and let's paint these petals yellow. And this isn't to say that we can't come in and do some colored pencil work on here or some um, Posca pens, right? We can do all the things we want. We just want to get that yellow to pop, right? Okay, now we're gonna set this aside to dry. And while this is drying, we're gonna take a, I like to, one of the ways that I like to take care of myself, the ways that I um, practice self-care is I need visual reminders. Visual reminders of positive thinking. And I'm telling you, it's a practice that was started by my mom in my childhood, she would take a index card and write a positive affirmation. She put them on the bathroom mirror, on the on the um, back door before you would go out. That's the last thing you would see, all the things. So I do that too. So like here, I have a post-it that just says, good morning, gorgeous. And if you've taken part in any of my pop and paint parties on my Ann Corbier's Got Designs Facebook page, we talk about all kinds of ways to love ourselves. Good Morning Gorgeous, this song by Mary J. Blige is a, oh my gosh, it just makes you feel so good when you listen to it. And we talked, she talked about in an interview that she, every single morning when she wakes up, she was in a very low place and every single morning now she looks in the mirror and she says, good morning, gorgeous. And so, and how easy is that? It's a post-it that doesn't take anything, right? But it will have a positive effect on you. Anyway, so the article that I wrote this month in Strawberry Moon, I'm so lucky. This month I got to answer the, ask the art journalers questions. I have an ad, I'm a sponsor of the magazine, right here's my ad. I wrote an article and I also have a piece of artwork in, oops, there we go, in the um, gallery. The whole culture is telling you to hurry while the art tells you to take your time. Always listen to the art. Ain't that the truth? Come on, ain't that the truth? Anyway, 
my article was all about neuro, neuro, neurographic art and um, the power of that practice and how mindful it is. And it just, it has just made such a impact in my life. I talk about in the article that I started on this journey in kindergarten. In kindergarten, our kindergarten teacher had us take a piece of paper and do a big, big scribble. And then we colored each section a different color within that scribble. And that has just morphed itself into this lifelong journey that I have of more and more and more versions of this same. There's a Zentangle version. There's um, one where I filled all of the sections with some funky mark making. I did this one during COVID, like when COVID first started, 3 2020. You can do hard things, shelter in place. I look, I remember thinking, I want to remember this. I want to remember where we are as a country. This one I painted with Crayola washable watercolors because I wanted to challenge myself. This one I think was with um, Karen markers and some mark making. Anyway, all that to say, neurographic art is just the, um, it is just such a part of my artsy world. And so what I thought would be fun because I love neurographic art and I love um, visual reminders, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to, t so I'm taking a roll of washi tape and I'm just tracing around that washi with a pen and I'm tracing the inside of it and the outside of it, right? And I want to overlap because there's, for me, there's nothing like an overlap. Oh, I just love it. Right, so we're just going to fill up this Rolodex card with some funkiness, right? One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna take every intersection and we're gonna round out those corners. So right there, right there, right there, right there. And this one, I ended up drawing a double line. I don't care. I like to thicken my lines and I like them to be kind of wonky. Like that just does something for me. And so, I'm kind of here for it. And that's going to create an even more um, neuron looking image on my card. If I thicken these, so this one I'm going to thicken here, right? And look at, I have this little blurb right here. I'm going to fill that in. So that's just going to add to the funkiness, right? Then I can thicken this one. And you see it's kind of wonky, right? And this Rolodex card I covered with a security envelope. Can I tell you, those are some of my favorite artsy things. Okay, so look at this. I'm just mad for this print in this security envelope. Okay, so you get the idea, right? So now we're gonna take, here's another one that I did earlier. We're gonna take that Rolodex card and we're going to start building our artsy assemblage. So I'm gonna cut out the word trust. And the badge. I'll fussy cut these closer in a sec. This 
sketchy heart. And I really like this feel your feels. So that's what I want to add as my visual message. And this sheet, I tried to fit as many artsy, positive vibe kind of messages as I could. Be you, not them. Love your whole self. Um, celebrate you. Be kind to you. Some I don't know why it is that we feel that we can be kind to others but not ourselves. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, we're just going to keep building this. I thought that it was so apropos that um, we are, that our magazine, well, Suzanne's magazine, I just feel like I'm part of it because I just love it so much. But anyway, Suzanne's self-care edition, excuse me, issue of the magazine came out in May because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And what's more prominently mental health awareness than self-care? There's just a power in it, I think. Um, in taking care of yourself. It feels nice to, you know, and self-care can be um, many things. Self-care can be creating. Like for me, it's almost always some kind of art uh, making. But it's also the simple, the simple act of while you're creating, taking a second, take a deep breath, and exhale through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, and take that one second and relax your shoulders. Then take another deep breath and exhale and relax your jaw. The power in that is tremendous. And then take one more deep breath and exhale and relax your forehead by those three little things. Holy smokes, the power of that. It's just, it is just fabulous. Okay, so now, and I will just tell you, neurographic art, that, the connecting of all of those bits the, all of those intersections, that is where you can get yourself deep in a flow state. It just, um, you just can lose yourself in that. Um, you know, the power of just making self-care a daily practice. Some days I need it uh, multiple times a day. Other days, you know, not so much. So I'm thinking about my assemblage here, where I wanna go with this. Oh, look at that. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'm loving, I think I wanna do green at the very center of this, cause that'll repeat that. Um, I hope that you will make time for Whatever your daily practice of self-care is, whatever that is, maybe it's cooking a meal. I would think for the most of, for most of us, it's an art making them in some kind of way. Reading Strawberry Moon Magazine is always top of my list. Look at it, it is packed. It is packed with articles and artwork and just, there's just nothing like Finding your community, and that's what I feel like I have in Strawberry Moon Magazine and Suzanne. I feel that I found my people, and we just hang out in this magazine with each edition. 
I am so proud to be a part of it. I hope that I see you all out and about in the world of art on, on social media. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to Ann Corbier's Got Designs. Dot com, oh, excuse me, Ann Corbier's Got Designs on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then for all things Ann and Artsy, like even more of my art printables, go to AnnCorbierScottDesigns.com. I put a link to my website, AnnCorbierScottDesigns.com, and to Strawberry Moon Magazine in the description of this video. I hope that. I hope that we all um, take those little moments to take care of yourself. You know, it's kind of the whole thing that they talk about on the airplane. You can't help somebody sitting beside you if you don't put your, your own oxygen mask on first. So let's try to do that. It'll make such a big difference in our lives. Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging with me just a little bit. And I will, I will see you on social media. Oh, don't forget to follow to attend my pop in paint parties each Tuesday and Thursday on Ann Corbier's Cut Designs Facebook page. Bye everybody.